Hello, this is Greg Flyshaker, and this is a relatively short video highlighting me trying to make an optic cup while glass blowing. So anyone who is a glass blower already knows what an optic cup is. Basically, you're gonna get a little bit of glass and put it into an optic mold, give it a twist, and make a drinking glass out of it. Glass blowers who are much better than I am, or even a little bit better, should be able to make an optic cup pretty easily. I never learned how, so even though I used to be, years and years ago, uh, something of a glass blower, uh, tried my hand at it professionally, uh, I never really learned how to make an optic cup. So uh, now that I'm older and I'm blowing glass strictly as a hobby, I'm trying to go backwards and learn how to do it. So the frames above, I was just applying a little bit of color to the first gather of clear glass, so I'm actually gathering twice for an optic cup, which you're really not supposed to, but I got a little bit of glass, added color, and now I'm just putting a little bit, uh, or a small bubble into that. And then also, I, I will point out that I never realized how many stupid faces I make while I was blowing glass. I guess you can't really see yourself, so you don't realize what a, a fool you look like. So anyway, a little bit of glass, add some color, and I did not show you, but there I got a second gather of glass over that. So I'm just shaping it up, trying to keep things symmetric on the, the bench. And this really should take about 10 minutes um, if you do a clear one, maybe a little bit longer if you do uh, a colored optic cup. So I change the angle. If you can see in the middle of the floor is the mold. So I'm going to take this glass. There has a small bubble in it and I'm getting it hot. I'm just going to put it in the mold, blow expand the bubble a little bit and so now there are a whole bunch of ridges in it I'm trying to zoom in and show you use your tweezers pull it out a little bit use your combo shears and then twist in one direction you can see it a little bit there as you twist you're twisting you're blowing all at the same time and then you have your optic ridges and now it's just a matter of expanding your cup um, into the size and the shape that you want this is a, a a few steps in a row here that I should be able to do better and quicker. I need to practice some more, so I don't need a lot of comments from people telling me how bad I am at this. I know I'm just doing this kind of as a learning project for myself. So again, I had too much clear glass at the bottom, so trim a little bit of that off. And it's all about shaping your cup here. So the, the metal jacks in my hand on the sides of the cup will allow the bottom to blow out ideally keeping the uh, sides the same shape and then when I hold it up like that that's just letting the, the shape or the, the glass fall. Gravity's just going to pull it out a little bit. So again shaping. Now the bottom obviously you want your cup to sit flat on the, the counter. Again this should be done in one or two steps. I realize that. I'm not there yet. Maybe I'll make another video in a couple of weeks after I take a class uh, from someone else who can teach me how to make optic cups or after I teach myself from watching videos, better videos, on the internet. But I wanted this video. This is where I am now. So I got the cup shaped partway through. I need to turn it over so I'll get a little bit of glass. This is called a punty. Shape it up. And the idea is that you attach it to the bottom of the piece you already made at the right temperature where it's hot enough to stick to it but not too hot to fuse to it. And I broke it off from the pipe. I'll put the pipe away. And now I open up the mouth of the piece. Right, so you shape the bottom first, you turn it over, and you open it up. For anyone who's not a glass blower, uh, it looks orange just because it's so hot. That's just the heat, that's not actually the color of the glass. So I open the mouth a little bit, use the puffer, or it's called a sofietta, heat it up a little bit. And when you blow, it opens the shoulders up of the glass a little bit. Open a little bit more, so if you add a little bit more. So again, it's all about shaping it from the, say, mid section or the bottom of the glass up. The, the very bottom should be pretty well set. And now it's just a matter of straightening up the sides, getting the mouth to the right opening, right diameter. And there you have a blue optic cup. And now the moment of truth. Can I knock the punty off? Boom. Let's torch a little bit. I was just blowing off a few shards there. Torch a little bit so you don't have a sharp, jagged edge on the bottom. And a not very good, or not as good as I hope to be, blue optic cup.